I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on application of vectors. I'm sharing with you some questions from previous test paper. Here is question number three, which is based on three forces acting at a point, and we need to find what is the equilibrate force. So let us see how to solve such questions. A particle is acted upon by three forces, 20 newtons pulling east, 17 newtons pulling southwest, and 23 newtons pulling north. The equilibrate of these forces is what? That is what you need to figure out. Now, what is the meaning of equilibrate? That means a force which acts in the reverse direction to make it stable. So, that is kind of important to understand, right? We don't want the resultant force, okay? Let's look into the diagram. So, let's say these are the three force, I mean, uh, forces. We should have drawn the axis kind of like this. Okay. So, what I'm trying to say here is a force of 20 Newton pulling east, right? So, this is east direction. We are saying 20 Newtons pulling east. And then we have another force which is 17 Newtons pulling south west right so so this is let us say southwest for us and then we have the third force which is acting north 23 newtons let's say that is our 23 newtons correct so what we are going to do we'll write here force 1 which is 20 newtons force 2 which is 17 newtons and the force 3 which is 23 newtons the angle with the horizontal here will be 45 degrees clear now let's write down all these forces in terms of their x and y components so our step will be to write them in components So we can say that F1 is, let's say this is along direction I and this is J for us. And the other force F2 will resolve in both the directions with 45 degrees, right? So force 1 is given to us as, let's say 20I, right? Plus 0J. Force 2, which is this one, cos of 45, you know cos of 45 degrees, is 1 over square root 2 and sine of 45 is also same let me write down correct so here this will be 17 over square root 2 i since it is acting in negative direction we have to write negative here right similarly the other one which we are going to split this as will be in this direction correct now if i say this is 45 degrees that becomes the sine component but anyway magnitude is minus 17 over square root of 2 j so i and j are unit components unit directions x and y directions right unit vectors f3 is north which will take as j so 0 along i plus 23 along g is that clear so that is how we could resolve them into our components so if i combine all of them so the net force fn will be f1 plus f2 plus f3 clear so these are vector forces so the net force will be how much let's combine them so i components are 20 minus 17 over square root 2 right that is your i component plus j components are how much 23 minus 17 over square root 2 clear so that becomes your net force we can use calculator to find this value let's do it so we have 20 minus 17 divided by square root 2 which is equal to in decimals 
7.979 so let me just write uh, okay 7 point we are using calculator so no problem i right and then we have 23 minus 17 divided by square root 2 that in decimals is 10.979 okay J. so that is your force now we could write this also as magnitude and direction right so we got the force now so let me write down we say the force acting upon the resultant force is basically 7.979 i plus 10.979 j right that is our resultant now this is basically resultant force So what is going to be the equilibrate force? So what we really found here, let's try to understand this situation, right? So we are saying that the resultant force for us is, let's say eight units in this direction, 10 units in that direction, right? So eight and 10, kind of like this. That is the resultant force we are talking about. That is F of N. But what are we asking for? We are asking for equilibrate force. So that equilibrate force will be acting in the reverse direction. You get my point. So, so that is your force, which is equilibrate force. This is what we need to find. So it is acting in the reverse direction. So you could show it like this. Is it okay? Now, let's first find the angle theta here, which the resultant makes. And also the magnitude. So what is the magnitude of this force? So the magnitude of this force is square root of 7.979 square plus 10.979 square. So we get square root of 7.979 square plus 10.979 square. So that is equal to 13.57. 57 Newton, right? So let's write the magnitude of this force as 13.6 Newtons. Is that okay? Now let's also find the angle tan theta. So tan theta will be a ratio of 10.979 over 7.979. So angle theta will be tan inverse of, let me write 10 over 8, okay. So, so we get shift tan inverse of 10 divided by 8, which is, sorry, 11 divided, I'm so sorry. 10.9 is 11, right? Okay. okay, let's delete. Let's write the whole thing. 10.979 doesn't take time, right, using calculator. Uh, 7.979 is equal to 53.99 so that is 54 degrees that's good okay so we got this angle theta as 54 degrees you understand so that really means that this angle here is also 54 degrees now tell me what should be the equilibrium force right so as far as the vector value is concerned, it will be negative of f of n, right? So, so let me write down in this thing. So equilibrium force will be negative of f of n. That is clear. The magnitude of this equilibrium force, however, because magnitude is always a positive quantity, will be 13 point, we'll round this to 6 newtons, right? And the angle theta will be what? So the angle normally should be given from the north. But you could also give from from south right you could give this angle also is it okay so so this much is how much 90 minus 54 right so 90 minus 54 basically is 36 so this angle here is 36 so you could give the angle from south this is south this is north correct and that is west so from south 36 degrees west is that clear to you so that is how you are going to answer this particular question and write your values. Is that clear? Perfect.
So I hope the solution is absolutely clear. So whenever you're working with more than two forces, it is always a good idea to write them in the component forms as we did. Adding and subtracting components is very simple. Get the resultant and then find the magnitude and direction. If you need to write the equilibrate force, then it is always acting in the reverse direction. Note that, right? And clearly work out the angles again and then write your answer as we did here. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.